This is Thomas Paul's week six. I'm standing here in front of the villa in which on the 20th of January, 80 years ago, the so-called Wannsee conference took place. 15 people from the German government and the National Socialist Party planned how to kill the rest of the Jews in all of Europe. Very effective, very German one of the most evil places in the world, one of the most evil crimes in history. And we are here with a group of Christians from around the world, together with Jewish re friends remembering this. And when I'm back home, I will tell you a little more. So here I'm back home again, and I would like to tell you a little bit why I personally are so involved in fighting anti-Semitism, fighting the denial of the Holocaust, uh, also fighting the denial of the right of a state of Israel to exist. Uh, that has to do with my own research after 1990. The um, archives in the Soviet Union opened and so a lot of material of Hitler's speeches and records and, and so on were accessible for the first time in history and I took my chance for this uh, dissertation on Hitler's religion of war and there I proved that ideas have consequences. Already in 1919 and 1920 Hitler started out to talk about that the Jews have to disappear from Europe and uh, he clearly tells in 1920 already that he is not going for an emotional anti-Semitism that uh, goes into pogroms, but that he wants to follow a very rational, a very German effective anti-Semitism that assures that in the end there will be no Jews in Europe. Ideas have consequences. I cannot tell all the details here but I'm deeply convinced that this most evil thing the Germans ever did, that is killing the majority of Jews in Europe, did not come by chance, but it was an idea, it was an ideology, it was a worldview that was pushed for and within a very, very short time, within decades, became reality. And as a German and as the Secretary General of the World Evangelical Alliance, I'm glad that in Berlin we could remember the Holocaust. I'm glad that as Christians we can ask for forgiveness and can assure that something like this never will happen again.